Welcome to Aurelia from the Athenee Lycée Luxembourg, who will present her project called Greenhouse Gases Emissions Filter. Good luck. Hello, my name. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Um, as said, I'm going to present my idea to, for a filter that reduces greenhouse emissions from vehicles using a filter composed of sodium hydroxide. It is evident that we are slowly driving our planet to its destruction. Wildfires spread throughout countries, destroying not only our homes, but the homes and habitats of animals. And while fires burn in the south, the Arctic is slowly being destroyed, driving many species to the verge of extinction. 2021 is a key year to battle climate change, as it could be the year that makes or breaks our planet. So, a brief explanation of my idea. My idea could act as an extra function to catalytic converters. A catalytic converter is a device that uh, takes the poisonous chemicals, such as carbon monoxide, and transforms them into less poisonous, but still harmful to our environment chemicals, such as carbon dioxide or nitrogen dioxide. My idea would be um, to have a filter that after the catalytic converter, would transform the emissions coming out of a catalytic inverter, which are mainly composed of nitrogen dioxide, carbon dioxide, oxygen and nitrogen that comes in with the air, and water. This would go into the filter and react under the intense pressure with the sodium hydroxide, forming sodium carbonate, sodium carbonate, sodium nitrite, sodium nitrate, and sodium nitride. Unfortunately, because the speed at which these gases go through the filter, not all the gases would have time to react with the sodium hydroxide. However, even if just an approximation of 25% react, this would still have a huge impact on our environment and benefit us in the long run. Here you can see a brief diagram of what it could look like. There's the filter and the products and reactions of this reaction. Here you can see the reactions necessary to happen. In the reaction with water, two possible solutions can happen. Um, either the sodium hydroxide dissolves in the water, forming sodium positive and hydroxide negative aqueous, or they form a reaction to produce hydro hydrogen. And as we know, hydrogen is very flammable but a later reaction will happen under the pressure of the heat and that will remove the hydrogen and turn it into water vapor. In the second part of my experiment, it is necessary to remove some of the heat energy, if not all of the heat energy. So a cooler is necessary. We need a cooler because if not, the sodium carbonate and the water will react again to form sodium hydroxide and carbon dioxide. This would render the machine useless. Any type of cooler is possible. However, in my diagram, I drew in a cooler. It could rush around water, cold water, or it could be an electronic cooling device that would remove some, if not all, of the heat energy from, a, um, from my filter. In theory, this device would remove around 25% of emissions coming through, a carbon, uh, coming through my carbon dioxide filter. Um, the final emissions released into the atmosphere would compose of a few greenhouse emissions, carbon dioxide, nitrogen dioxide. However, it would hopefully remove 25% uh, of them and transform them into sodium carbonate, sodium nitrite, sodium nitrate, sodium nitride, and some water vapor would still be there. It is imperative that we act now to save our environment, as if not... Uh, we might not have any chance to go back. The amount of greenhouse emissions coming out of a car's exhaust pipe is horrendous, and we need to act now. Thank you for listening.